and I can always tell the time of year that we're getting to when the type of interviews are starting to talk about events that are coming up and I always look forward to the MS walk and talking about this. It's the kickoff really when we're only a couple weeks away until we start to really get into this race season. Joining us is our new committee chair, uh, Hetel Kushwaha. Great to have you here. You. And also uh, Adam Goldberg, great to have you here as well. Turns out, I mean, we went to elementary, high school, everything I together. So I looked up and I'm like, oh my gosh. So a lot of changes happening this year. So welcome to your first year as being chair Thank of the you. event. Um, but I'm realizing there's a lot of new things involved with this, uh, with what we used to call the walk, but there's a run component. Yes, and we are so excited to be including this run component with the event this year. We've got a 5K run, we've got the 10K run, and the registration for that includes your bib and includes a time chip. Okay, lots of things to it. Can you mention right now, too, the aspect of the training part for further races or that are heading out yeah, uh, later so in the year. I, we think it's really cool this mm -hmm. year. The event's falling on April 28th. So we think it's perfect timing for anybody who's actually doing the Ottawa race weekend. Come out on April 28th, do the 5K, do the 10K run, and use it as a training opportunity. Yes. Well, a lot of people can't get into these races, though, because they're sold out. They can't get That's to these right. bibs because it's sold out incredibly <clears throat> fast. There's a bonus. That's right. With the Ottawa Race Weekend, the MS Society is actually a partner charity this year. So there are 10K bibs and half marathon bibs still available. So that is very exciting. That's something that you might want to consider right there as an, as an amazing Sorry. selling point. The real selling point, though, is what is being done, the research that is being done, mm -hmm. and those that are affected with MS. And I didn't realize this, but you actually started to feel symptoms, yeah. started to feel things were right, right around 99. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, I had tinglys uh, for about three, four weeks in 1999. They sort of just went away, and my doctor's like, oh, that was weird. And then I got other symptoms in 2003, and we're looking at you thinking, that was weird. And sort of that just things progressed one after the other, get an MRI, sort of all these weird things. One time in May 2004, I'm in the ER at the hospital, and it's like, oh, well, let's get your MRI results. Oh, you have MS. So that's a sudden shock to the system, needless to say. It's a, it's a shock to the system. You're incredibly young at the time yeah. to be able to be diagnosed with something like this. How has this affected kind of daily life for you? Um, well, before I used to have my full-time job. I used to host karaoke on the side. Now it's like, okay, I'm a, re I'm a retired K uh, KJ. Um, I'm still thankful I can still work full-time job. Um, but, you know, you have to sort of watch what you're doing. Uh, limiting, you know, you don't overdo it. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Uh, and the, I mean, it's daily, daily it's, injections. Daily injections. Yeah. It's it's a constant. There's yep. a constant reminder there. Yeah. How important is something like this in terms of the research and, and the money raised? Because these events are huge across the country. Yeah. Well, the the MS Walk is the biggest fundraiser uh, in Ottawa for raising uh, money for research and for client services, helping those in the city affected with MS. So that you know, if you need assistance getting a wheelchair or you need assistance having someone come to your house to help you, that's what those monies are going for. So. It's, it's, it's vital. What was your use in terms of using the MS Society once um, you realized this was Well, newly diagnosed, it's like, okay, I've basically, basically been handed this MS. It's like, well, what is this? What is this MS? So there was a new persons group at the MS Society and a series of meetings, discussions, and it sort of opens the door. It's like, okay, it's not that bad, all things considering. You know, it's like life's not going to end for you. Life's going to get a little bit different, but sure, certainly life's not going to end. And the MS chapter, the Ottawa MS chapter, they really help me sort of get on that path. Mm -hmm. And things have been going very well since then. Well, it's good to hear, but it's the fundraising, it's the awareness campaign that is all built around the MS Walk. So people can get in. There's lots of different opportunities, and that's what you're looking for today. Lots of opportunities still get in with the Auto, either the Ottawa Race Weekend or April 28th. Mm -hmm. And the event will be exciting. We've got yep. breakfast, we've got lunch, we've got entertainment, and it's along the Ottawa River Parkway, so it's just gorgeous out there. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. April 28th. It usually marks the launch of uh, that right. season. And we can always tell because after that, it's like every weekend there's something that's happening here in the city. Good luck as the, the chair for this year. I know Thank you were you. doing their golf tournament before, so yes. switching gears a little bit. And for those that are looking, it's, it's switched from the dynamics of always just having the walk. And there is, of course, the run aspect to it this year.